Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today I thought that I would talk a little bit about um, security because we have just had this process of failures or exploitation well security holes more or less the Intel mostly the Intel processors which is apparently um, well a big open door well it's not that big but it's it's not as secure as uh, as we could have hoped for um, I'm thinking about the new the the meltdown and the spectra that has been revealed here lately and um, which kind of does that if you have access to a server if if you're a user on a server and has access to install and run programs well these programs can get access to memory areas that where you really shouldn't be able to read and that includes um, if someone else is locked on that server going over there and retrieving their password um, that's a big problem because this is an error inside of the CPU which you can't just fix it, there is no upgrade for fixing a hardware CPU error well they might be designing some new CPUs that can do that but the many CPUs that we have bought for many years well they're not fixable you can you can patch it through software but really it sucks because if you get rid of that software install something new the security issues are right back in your face you can only do so much you can firmware update your hardware like your Lenovo servers and hope that no one um, puts a backdoor in there that's the next thing right if, um, if you're a foreign government well you might be interested in having a backdoor in different vendors hardware so you could use that backdoor and access the Intel memory leakage shadow error hole so this is a big deal and there's no way around it all the CPUs I think all the CPUs I have they they have this error uh, the best thing is to not have any users on your servers so we are right back to not having anything online that's 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 secure really secure if no cables coming in or out well it definitely makes it a lot harder this uh, brings me to another point and this is really I'm not a big fan of cloud computers because I, I kind of know who has access to my servers if um, if I want to lock them out or do anything I could just cut the connection and I would be 100% sure that there was no one on there if I run my services from a cloud provider well I have no idea who has access to my data I can encrypt it from here and to hell somewhere along the way it has to be decrypted for me to use it when even the processor and the RAM is not secure anymore well there is nowhere to really do that anymore you used to be able to have your data secure on a hard drive and then you would load it up into the processor and that would decrypt it and put it in RAM and in RAM it would be pretty hard for anybody to get to it but well now that's kind of just an open book or at least probably it will be when all the good hackers um, get to this and um, I do not think this is a new thing I've actually heard about this I have a good buddy of mine Jim who is an, he's an expert in AI X system the IBM power hardware and he told me about this two years ago um, they didn't have fancy code names back there but he told me about this memory shadowing and he had read that on a, on a forum from chaos computer club which is I think that's German German slash Dutch I'm not totally sure but he had he had read that there and he told me about the security issue that it was there and well I really don't like security that much I think it's it destroys things all the things that you're not able to do because you have to run a secure system it's just annoying if, if we didn't need all that security we could do a lot of cool stuff 
but well we need security because we don't want people to mess with our data we, um, we might want to share our data to everybody but we don't want everybody to be able to, to change the data so well if everybody can change the data you don't know what the data is and then it's not worth anything but he told me about this issue and I'm pretty sure that's two years ago that I heard about this I didn't think much of it but um, now that this came along I was reminded and he um, he was too so we have been talking about this and the article has disappeared I was not able to find it I, I didn't search that long chaos computer club they have a lot of articles might still be there might just be me that didn't find it so another thing that I've been thinking about is I really have a lot of CPUs that are broken more or less all my CPUs are broken they don't they have security issues that the vendor can't fix they can patch it it's like buying a car and finding out that you're driving around on four flat tires you should really be able to get new CPUs the big problem is there is no new CPUs and the only one producing them well you could get AMD CPUs but you know if you send your CPUs to Intel they will probably not offer you AMD CPUs you should actually be able to get your money back on Intel CPUs because they don't work if I bought a new Lenovo server with um, Intel CPUs well that's actually the whole server that is broken right so more or less I should be able to send that back to Lenovo and says this server is broken there's a security issue with it and um, money back that's really how that should work it's billions and billions of dollars I couldn't care less they have solar equipment that is insecure so why shouldn't we get our money back when it comes out that this product that we bought is insecure and it really doesn't do what it was advertised well that's just my thought I think this really sucks yeah cloud computing having your data somewhere where you don't have total control that's might be fine with some system if you if you don't really care about that system if if business can go on even if that system is done copied or anything you might be able to use cloud computing for for I don't know I can not come up with things that cloud computing would be really good for well emails maybe no that can your emails can be important too there might be customer data in there um, if you just have enough data it's worth something for someone if I have a little business and I sell let's say I sell hard drives and the only thing I do is sell hard drives so I put up a cloud business a web shop where I sell these hard drives and uh, this, uh, this site sells a lot of IBM hard drives then along comes someone else like another vendor that want to sell their hard drives it would be very interesting to have all the people that has bought my hard drives in the past maybe do some advertising to those people to get them to change their hard drives maybe come up with some shit story about this uh, not being a safe hard drive anymore and try to manipulate people to think that they have a bad product and now they need a new one so that uh, well it's just an example that would really suck that's that's kind of that big data thing if you have enough data of some kind it's valuable um, I heard a nice story about big data that was about uh, coca-cola a lot of data on coca-cola so they they had big data AI something um, look at it and they found out that uh, coca-cola's main business area wasn't really to produce soft drinks it was transport coca-cola's biggest business was moving this coke around uh, out to the customers so with all that data they figured that out and they could kind of change their business strategy in some way I don't know what they did with that data but it's probably very valuable to know that your main business is not producing soft drinks but transporting it all around the world so probably the, the price of the coca-cola itself is way less 
than actually getting it out to the customer. So, um, so it's probably not worth as much to to optimize on the Coca-Cola product itself. But if you could optimize on the transport, well, you make a lot more money. And data like that is something that you don't want to share with anyone. Some countries in the world that um, you don't want to share stuff with because they copy everything. We even heard of um, companies going to this country to uh, to take advantage of the cheap labor there and the and the well-educated people there and they would build a factory and just 500 meters down the street well another factory would be built and it would be a copy of that first factory and they would just copy everything and then when this first company found out that well this is not going very well well they would shut down but then there would be a copy factory uh, running in the background and uh, with all the knowledge that they had gained so danger so what can you do for this security crap you can patch and you can patch uh, more or less you have to patch your server you have to patch the the system board you have to patch your operating system you have to patch maybe i don't know micro code for the cpus if anything comes we have been doing some patching at work to avoid this on uh, vmware hosts all the vmware hosts was patched within a week just for there to show up new patches so we could go over them once again really irritating so that was like patches on patches stupid as hell you can only you can only patch the holes and maybe go buy amd processors they should not be affected as much the security issues in the AMD processors should be way harder to take advantage of than the ones found in all the Intel processors. We have a strategy at work that describes it. We call it, we have, the, we have a clear sky strategy. It means um, no cloud. So we're really not a big fan of cloud services. We do have some cloud services and we don't like them much because the data there is unsecure. We don't know who is watching our data when. It feels unsafe. It's like letting your girlfriend go to a party with your best friend. You never know. <laughs> it should be safe, but how drunk they will be. Who will be exploiting your data? It's a really crappy situation. We really need more vendors on the CPU market because uh, two vendors is just not enough and both of them are American, I would say that's not good enough. I hope someone else comes along so that we can at least pick a CPU that is secure and maybe even a CPU that could not be influenced by any government, that would be nice. It's really not cool to have people looking at the data that we don't want them to be looking at. If I was designing something innovative, something cool, new, um, big product that I would want to sell for billions of dollars. I perfectly understand the companies that has a system inside the company that is not online. Where um, schematics and drawings and patterns and all the good stuff is being drawn up uh, without anyone being able to access it. That's where we employers are the weakest link. Computer and data security is a real issue. It's really something that we will have to, um, to live with. I don't think there is any good way to secure that. You just have to know that unless your data is not accessible, well, it's not secure. Someone somewhere somehow might be watching your data. It's just a matter of time. You know, computer has so many components that are more or less online or has access to stuff that, that they might not really need to have access to. Let's just take a network card. Here's a nice network card. This is an Intel one. It's on the net. It has direct access to the switch. It could do stuff. It could send packages to the switch. Um, it has its own processor. It probably has a bit of RAM inside that processor. Wonder if it doesn't have direct memory access to the CPU and the RAM. Um, mostly the RAM so you could actually just have a virus on a network card 
or not a virus. Uh, it could be a virus, but it could be deliberately put in the network card that if this network card, if, if I send some packages to this network card, well, it might just start and send data from the RAM um, over the internet or to some specific address that it will go ask somewhere, where do you want this data and get a reply, save that in here and then direct memory access all your RAM and maybe there's something interesting in that. Maybe there's a login password from the last admin that was on the system. Who knows? If you can't trust this hardware, that's a real issue. I don't know if this video made any sense whatsoever um, or if we're just all paranoid. Um, good thing I don't have anything important on my servers. I just use it for making hardware videos most of the time. I have my secure data in my safe <laughs> on a hard drive that is not accessible. So yeah, cool. Um, thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel. You don't have to leave a comment. I know what you are thinking. Have a nice day. Bye bye.